Well, after, we might come back for a moment to what do you think the effect of not having a body is on the user? When they take the telephone, telephone, radio, or TV, you don't have a physical body at all. Okay, are, are you inviting in an open yeah. response? Oh, yeah. Okay, a hunch. Depersonalization. Yeah, complete. The observation is it would be depersonalization. <laughs> it's, um, well, you are there, you, the sender is sent. By the way, on all electric media, the sender is sent. That is the message. You are the message. They send you. On the telephone, you are sent. And uh, the person to whom you are speaking, they are sent. To you. The sender is sent. Also, as you say, you lose your identity. You're nobody. <clears throat> the person who is sent is nobody. Why is, is the person who writes somebody has a greater sense of <clears throat> identification than the person who's talking on the telephone? Mm-hmm. Why? Hardware. Yeah. Why? Hardware, you know, paper, and pen and ink, and uh, courier sending this missive to uh, another party somewhere else. You mean it's not a transient... It's not instant. ...thing? Okay, it's not... It's, it's a, a, instant. The electric is always instantaneous. There's no delay. That's why you don't have a body. Instantaneous communication is minus the body. So that began with the telegraph. The telegraph also had that uh, built-in dimension of the instantaneous, <clears throat> and it completely transformed news and information. Mere, the mere speed. It didn't matter what was written, the fact that it went at the speed of light transformed everything. It caused the Civil War. Hidden ground of the American Civil War was the telegraph. No historian knows this. Read a book by Kenneth Stamp called The Causes of the American Civil War, and you will find no mention of the telegraph anywhere. The telegraph is acoustic, not visual. At the speed of light, the ear comes into play. It's not the eye. Let me grab on to another point to be sure that, that we've gotten it. What you're saying is that with the telegraph and the telephone, that the, the major message is the speed of communication. Mm -hmm. And that that very speed, as contrasted with writing a letter and sending it by horseback, um, or however we do it these days, it's a good deal slower than horseback, but the major message is the speed yeah. with which information <clears throat> is sent and what that does to social relationships in the human psyche, regardless of the content of the content message. Content couldn't matter less. This is increasingly true of news under TV conditions. The content is of no importance. It's all fantasy. At the speed of light, all hardware news is translated into fantasy. It's inner trip. However, that's, a quite, that's taking quite a leap forward. Let's notice that when you move at the speed of light on the telephone, you do, you do not have a private identity. And when you don't have a private identity, or rather when you don't have a body, you don't relate to natural law. Your gravity has no control over you at the speed of light. You are suddenly outside of the natural scheme of things. You're a superman. This does all sorts of things to the human psychology. Completely transforms people. It's a completely hidden ground. It has nothing to do with the content. What they say on the phone couldn't matter less. This transformation complete transformation of the user is never mentioned in all the literature on the telephone. Not a word about it. Because it's hidden. 